Okay, let's take it from the top. Describe this trailer in one word. Oof. <laughs> bad news, bad. Okay, so before we get started into this one, guys, I just want to make it known that I was so wholeheartedly trying to defend this show up until this point. Like, I was really, really, really trying. I wanted this to be great. I wanted this to be good. But apparently, people just hate it. And I know people hated it from the get-go, from seeing the costumes. I was trying to tell people, like, wait, this might just be an episode goof. This might just be like an episode where they're undercover. Starfire doesn't really look like that, but I I don't know. I can't, I, there's only so much I can defend because I'm not making this show. And I do want to let people know, hold on, let's, let's just Google Starfire real quick. I do want to let people know that Starfire has always been low key black. Like in the comics, she had this super curly hair. She's always had darker skin. Like this version, this, this, almost like Caucasian version with his long hair is just a cartoon version. But in the comics, she's always had like cur really curly hair. Like it's just always been like this kind of hair. She's al it's always been kind of kinky and like in curls and just like really bunched up. Like it's always been that way. All right, let me stop scrolling before I come across some tits while I'm recording this video. So let me not do that. But anyway, like Starfire is Tamaranian. Like she's from a different planet like where they're of darker skin like it may be like orange or red but like it's still like she can be black like i don't i don't understand why so many people are mad that it's being played by a black girl so maybe if they took different liberties with the hair or the powers or whatever because i've seen screenshots and stuff and i've seen small clips i haven't seen the entire thing i just want people to give this show like an even like chance because when arrow came out I didn't really say shit, but that was fucking boring. When Flash came out, that was fucking boring. Like, all these shows are coming out, and then, uh, what was that show? Um, Supergirl or whatever, that shit came out, I didn't say nothing. I was just like, oh, all these white shows are just looking mad stupid. But now, like, we get around to this era, and it's just like, everybody seems to have a problem with it. And apparently it's really dark and gritty, which, who cares? Like, that's part of the inter entertainment of the show. I Anyway, we'll we'll talk about it. So Hello. Okay. Who are you? Who led me here to you. You're the boy from the circus. Maybe this is just a bad trailer. Maybe this is just a really bad trailer. Let me turn the volume up. Too hard. And I'm feeling like a villain got a hunger inside. Please, can you help me? Who did the ADR for this? Where's Batman? Uh, okay. Uh, All right. Fuck Batman. Okay. There's something evil inside of me. But you can control it. You don't know what I've become. <laughs> Okay. Sometimes when I feel the darkness, it feels good. My mom says there's no such thing as monsters. I used to think that. I was wrong. Madness, madness. Okay, let's take it from the top. Describe this trailer in one word. Oof. <laughs> this audio is just really bad. The song choice, horrible. Sound design, I'm not happy with it. They could have chose something else. It's just too loud in certain areas and just... Please. It's just loud and cheesy and... And I'm okay with, I'm okay with Dick Grayson murdering people. I, I just want to let people know. I just... I, I just... I, I'm, I'm okay with this. <laughs> This is perfectly fine. Fuck Batman. There's something evil. Okay, 
I think the stuff with Raven is just unnecessary. They didn't need to make her like overtly trying to be scary. They could have just made her this dark, mysterious girl who has her hood on all the time. She doesn't have to do stuff like this. Her powers, they didn't have to show that yeah, in this trailer. Yeah, but you can control it. And there's no Beast Boy power. Okay, I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But just can control this, this right here. I'm not, I'm not crazy about the actual fire powers. Like, I'm not crazy about this. I'm, I'm not, why? This is when you take the words too literally. Star fire. Like, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done this this way. I just, mm, I wouldn't have done, I wouldn't have made it this way. I would have made it more, if it was going to go dark, you should go dark. I used to think that. I was like, I don't mean like dark as in edgy, but I mean dark as in like mysterious, vague, ambiguous. These are words in which I would describe Raven and the rest of the Titans. Like the scenes with Beast Boy, he should be walking through the crowd or something. Then all of a sudden it's just like a green cat walking on the ground or something like, I, I, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm not crazy about it. I'm not. I'm gonna give it a chance, but the only problem is I'm not gonna be able to watch it because it's on their DC Universe Network. So if you don't have the DC Universe Network, you can't watch it, and which is gonna lead to a lot of pirating. Um, and Young Justice Season 3 is also on the DC Universe. So let's just go ahead and look at the lineup real quick. This isn't part of the video, but I mean, let's go ahead and just look at the DC Universe lineup. Let's go the Ultimate Membership. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. They have every single DC property on here. Look at this. Look at this Nightwing thing down here. This shit looks dope. Oh, you guys can't see it because I'm in the way. <laughs> Look at this thing right here. This looks dope. <laughs> Come on now. Like, exclusive original series. Epic animated movies. So are they taking their stuff off of Hulu? You get to see the classics. So, I mean, this is pretty cool. Comics. You can actually, like, read comics on here now. Membership only merchandise. Connect with the DC community. Like, this is all great and everything, but $7.99 a month? Damn. Or $75 a year? I, I can't. I can't justify it, bro. I can't. I can't. I, I just can't. Hold on. Let me see what's under their watch. Titans, Doom Patrol, Swamp Thing, Young Justice, and Harley Quinn shows all being streamed exclusively to DC Universe. Not happy about it. Not happy about it. I'm not going to be able to watch these shows now because I'm not paying $7.99 a month for just DC stuff. That's what I pay Hulu for. Like, that's what I pay Netflix for. Like, I pay for these things so that way I can see them on those platforms. I don't need another one. And now Disney's coming up with theirs, like the Disney Vault or whatever. Hold on. Let's Google this, actually. Disney Vault. Um, let's see. Streaming service? Is that what it's called? Like Disney Vault? Disney Streaming Service? Oh, so they still haven't even announced it. So this is going to have everything on there. Oh, what are they going to tell me and not to use ad ad block? Yeah, I knew it. Everybody tries to tell me not to use ad block. Fuck y'all. They're going to have Star Wars on here. Probably won't arrive until 2019. Like, this is all just speculation. Like, it, we already know that Disney is working on their own streaming service. So then I got to pay for that, which is why they were ripping stuff off Netflix. But really, I'm I'm not happy about this, guys. I can't watch this show. I just can't. I can't watch this show. Uh... I, I tried, I, tr I tried really hard to make it seem like, hey, you know what, guys, maybe we should just give it a chance. I can't, I can't defend it. Um, I just can't. I'm going to watch a few episodes. I'm going to pirate a couple and see see what it's like, maybe do a couple of videos on it. But I, I, I'm, it doesn't have to be like this. That's all, that's all I'm bothered by is it because it just doesn't have to be like this. So, you know, if you're a fan, you're a fan, but I'm, I'm just, I'm not, you can miss me with this. So, I'm just so disappointed. <laughs>